We're gonna follow that monster we just fought? Really? Why would what we do it? that? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity. In emergencies. Right. I believe you, Tifo. You're the, probably the smartest sure one we're not here. lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find out. I ate a cookie right now, a big ass cookie that you get from Bonds. I know it's really good. Speaking of that, Bonds is in my Don't town. Oh shit. In my area, Bonds is like the only major like Albertsons type of store. You know, like where you get like good groceries, like good healthy groceries. My town is just filled with tons of like McDonald's, Jack in the Box, and all that. It's on you. All set. Good get him. Ah, this game's a beast. I think I hit him with thunder. Got a thing. You're up. Here goes. Kind of with a blizzard then. Don't catch the cold. Come on. Go on. Sorry, but I gotta. Come on. Done for. Worked up a good sweat. And I'll use it for me too. I was gonna say something right now, but I completely forgot. Oh yeah, I saw the movie Tenet, and that is like the most pretentious movie I've ever seen in my life. I love Nolan. I love Christopher Nolan. I literally have the Dark Knight movie, the Dark Knight trilogy on Blu-ray. And I also really like Dunkirk and Interstellar. I like Inception, I don't love it, but I like it. The Prestige, which is ridiculously underrated. You guys should watch that movie, it's awesome. Memento. He's made a ton of movies I really love, but I fucking hated Tenet. That movie was just... Literally, let's just confuse you as much as possible. Let's just confuse you with no, like, substance at all. There's no reason we're trying to confuse you. Let's just confuse you as much as possible without anything going. That's literally all that movie is. It just lets confuse you. And it's fucking dog shit. I don't know what kind of drugs Christopher Nolan was on writing that fucking movie, but please don't write anything like that again, please. I honestly thought it bombed just because of, you know, COVID, but yeah, I can kind of see why people were turned off by this movie. It sucks pretty bad. I wouldn't say it's a bad movie, but like it, it just fucking makes no sense. I, I just didn't like it at all. So for me, it was pretty bad. None of my parents even understood it either. Feathered gloves. I can give that to one of them. But yeah, I, I just could not stand that movie. It was really, really bad. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the Sonic Strikers. The only positive things I could say about it was that the sound editing was really good. A little too good, though, because sometimes you can barely hear what the characters are saying. The action was amazing, but that's literally in all of Nolan's movies, the action's always great. And... The acting is great. Robert Pattinson is so goddamn talented. It literally just made me more excited for the Batman. But other than that, the plot, the story, just makes no fucking sense at all. Like, I, I really don't understand what they were trying to do. It, 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 it's just... Just a mindfuck of a movie, and not in a good way. Like, I, I really don't get what they were trying to go for. It's just such a fucking stupid movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna buy some Phoenix Downs. And I know somebody's gonna be like, well, you didn't understand it. I understood it to a certain extent. Up until a certain point where I just gave up on trying to understand it. 
But my basic understanding of that movie is they're trying to stop a war that like happened in the future, and some characters like can see the future or some shit, and some characters move backwards in the future. Whatever the fuck, it's fucking confusing. If you're that confusing to a point, you're just bad in my opinion. If I can't even understand you. I'm pretty sure the actors and writers don't even understand that movie. Who could? But yeah, that's probably like an unpopular opinion I have. Tenet was just a really bad movie. At least story-wise. No surprises there. Like set design and all that was fantastic, but story-wise, it's just a fucking shit. <laughs> It's by far Nolan's worst movie. I, I don't I don't recommend it at all. Just a waste of five dollars for me. <laughs> I'll protect you. And this is coming from a Nolan fanboy, okay? I love a lot of his movies. But that one was just really stinky dog shit. That's a win. Again, if you like it, more power to you. But I, I just... It was just fucking dumb. <laughs> it was just really dumb. Just so confusing to a point of just... I don't care. <laughs> Can I open this? Oh, it's locked. And I do love some confusing movies, you know? Some movies that fuck with your head. One of my favorites is Source Code with Jake Gyllenhaal. That was a great movie. With a really confusing plot that just really fucks with your head. And it leads to something that pays off. It's really well done really well. Tenet is, is it not. Safe to go through here? It's really Tenet dark. is just... I'm sure we'll be let's just confuse the audience with this pretentious hey, ass story Clark. that just leads nowhere. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth. What do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an end game, but I can't imagine what it is. I want to see what's on the other side. The city just way. to get back at us. Oh, yeah, tenant sucks. Kind of sense. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. In my opinion, it sucks. I wouldn't say it's objectively bad. I'm sure there's the people who got more out of it than I did. But yeah, for me personally, I just didn't enjoy it. I, I like fucking hated the story and how confusing it was. I, for me personally, I just don't know how anyone can, like, watch a movie. Now, there's movies where, you know, you, you watch twice, you understand it. Like Pulp Fiction, for example, you watch that twice. Donnie Darko. There's great movies that you watch twice and you get more meaning out of. Tenet, I just, I just don't want to at all, because it was not very good. And I really, really tried to understand. I really tried, but... Locked up tight. Man, but not if fucking we use ridiculous the how just complicated it is. Huh? Does this mean it's in the water? We'll see. That movie's like trying to do calculus while high. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> I can't even do calculus while I'm sober. How the fuck am I gonna do it high? That's a power generator, all right. Okay, well, I want it to look around. Like those boxes right there, wow. I would like to hit. Talk about ancient. It's an antique. Older than the Mako reactors, even. Yeah, enough about ten out of uh, still I, works. I just hate them. And I know that someone's gonna be like, well, you didn't understand it. I understood it. It was just, like, the basic level. I understand it on a basic level, but it was just really dumb. And I'm sure I can understand it more, but I'm just like not interested enough to understand hey, it more. Would you look at that? <sighs> and let there be light. Need to find that key. You know, there, there's been movies where I've watched twice and I got better meaning of, like Inception, for example. You sure you want to find? <laughs> and Pulp Fiction is another one. <laughs> Pulp Fiction is one of my all-time favorite movies. You don't see it now, but. In front of me is a giant poster. Of it. I also have the vinyl record of it. 
and the Blu-ray of it. So it's not like I just like, you know, I like basic ass movies where the plot is literally just spoon fed to me. It's just 10 is just a really poor job of it. I was gonna hit it with fire. Look at that. It's fire destroys it. But at least I can explain my points better than a lot of people. A lot of people today are just like, it's bad, so I don't like it, so it's objectively bad. There's so many people that think like that, by the way. Like, they'll say anything is bad, and they'll be like, it's objectively bad since I don't like it. Like, okay. There's too many, way too many people like that. I see that shit on Twitter all the time. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Whether it be about a movie or food. Like, like you wouldn't say that about a food. Some idiots would, but... There's just way too many people like that. And the funny thing is, a lot of those people that say that shit, they're not even smart enough to be aware that self-aware. They just say that shit and they can't even explain it. Like, the most popular example I can think of is Last of Us 2. Now, there are people who can explain why they don't like it. And that's fine with me. If you can explain why you don't like stuff, that's fine with me. But there's a large number of people who hate that game who can't even fucking explain why they hate that game. Like, seriously, say, call out somebody who doesn't like that game. Seriously, call out somebody, I guarantee you, one of their responses is gonna be, look it up, you'll see why. I'm not fucking asking Google, I'm asking you. If I asked Google, I would've just Googled it. And one of their other responses, oh, it's, it's woke or SJW. I honestly really don't get why people get offended by that shit. It's so dumb. Like, we live in a fucking time where people get offended if there's, like, some sort of preachy message in movies or shows or games. And Last of Us 2 is not even a big deal, either. Not even that. It's not even, like, a preachy at all. At least I didn't get that vibe. But if, if, if you really think it's that preachy, then I, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> it's just fucking ridiculous how people get offended for that stuff. Like, I won't watch it because SJW. Like, I hate that shit so much. It's just so fucking stupid. <laughs> And it's typically when, like, women are in movies or something like that. I won't watch it because women are in Alright, just say you're sexist and move on. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to be doing, too, by the way? But yeah, this isn't everybody with The Last of Us 2. It's just there's a large group of people who can't even explain why they hate it. They just hate it because a YouTuber told them to. Like, we're just. Like, this generation's raising a bunch of fucking idiots. A bunch of morons who are not even aware enough to realize it either. Like, I wish school taught people like how to think and how to like express your thoughts you know instead of just teaching you just how to learn like it just because right now we're just teaching how, be, how people we're just teaching people how to be a bunch of fucking idiots how to be a bunch of fucking morons And the funny thing is, a lot of people who just shit on Last of Us 2 religiously haven't even played the game. I also see this shit a lot with The Last Jedi. 
like, God, like, talking about The Last Jedi is, like, this not is... even worth it just because you can't even have a conversation about that movie. You, like, you can't. Like, every conversation that evolves from that fucking movie is just, oh, you like Last Jedi? Well, your mom's a pussy. Oh, you don't like Last Jedi? Well, you're a cuck. Like, that's how a lot of fucking conversations go. We're just raising a bunch of fucking retards. You can't even express their thoughts without saying, oh, your mom's a pussy. And this is just about movies, too. It worked! And the thing that pisses me off the most is that this behavior gets rewarded, too, with, like, likes and retweets and shit. Just imagine how much better the world would be if Twitter didn't exist, my god. I know I have one, but that's just because I enjoy Wait, some things about it, but not I everything. This place. I just hate Sector seeing morons like that get rewarded. This so this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. It's just really dumb. See if we can't use those gates to clear up. Like I've seen like reviews on movies <laughs> He's we'll on like Amazon of like yeah, people saying for sure. One star, the movie was too complicated and I couldn't follow. Like, okay, well that's not- that doesn't make the movie bad, I just fucking- You just don't understand it. Watch something else if you, if you don't want something to eat. And the funniest thing is a, I saw a review like that for the movie Soul. Yes, a Pixar movie. Too many people that think like that, it's so annoying. Was never in doubt. <laughs> and these people are so dumb that they can't explain why they feel these ways. <laughs> school doesn't teach on Tanya. School should teach people how to like, you know, express their feelings and thoughts, but they don't. And that's why people keep a lot of feelings and thoughts just bottled up. They never talk about them. Because they don't know how to express them. So they'll just say, oh, your mom's a pussy, or some shit like that. And this is mostly all in America, I'm assuming. I don't really see a lot of other countries acting like these fucking degenerate morons. Yeah, thank goodness this people don't write movies. Can you imagine Lord of the Rings being written like that? Like, these, how these people would want their stories written? Man, that'd be a- that'd, I'd fucking kill myself, that's a lot I wouldn't want to live in. I just realized magic are these fucking creatures we That's a world I would not want to live in. And yeah, there are some, like, great written movies that I really don't like, like The Godfather. But I will say this, The Godfather is an objectively good written movie. But it just doesn't hold my attention. I find it very boring. Well, I don't think it's bad, I just am not interested in it. Not bad. Like I would never call it a bad movie, it's just a movie I just don't have any interest in. I told my dad I don't like that movie, he lost his shit, he was triggered. He lost his anus when I said that. I might have ruined his day by saying that, I don't know. And I'm gonna ruin your day as well, the earth is flat, prove me wrong. <laughs> Oh, okay, I had to cross that bridge. Can I fit through that? But yeah, about my movie thing, there's some bad movies I enjoy, like the Transformers movies, the ones Michael Bay made. They are terrible movies, but I enjoy them. They suck absolute shit, but I enjoy them. I think they're fun. Yeah, everyone's got their own taste. I don't. 
get why people have to be so hostile about it. Especially about the Transformer movies. Like, like why do you care that I like them so much? Seriously. <laughs> Deal with that. Okay, like, anytime you tell someone they like it, they treat you like a fucking idiot. Like, most people just watch them for fun. No one... There's probably like 10% of people in the world who think that Transformers is a masterpiece. Now, they were talking about Bumblebee. I completely agree. Bumblebee is great. I love Bumblebee. My turn. Don't overdo it. I got this. Come on, you can do it. I completely see where you're coming from. You're talking about Bumblebee, but Michael Bay ones, they suck shit, but they're really fun. But <laughs> if you have the balls to say you like them on Twitter, man, people will come for you. God, what the fuck? This guy's just owning me. Nothing to it. And it's not like I get comments like this too. It's just mainly stuff I see on like social media that I think is dumb. And I've gotten it before too with two particular games. One is The Witcher 3 because someone was mad that I stopped playing it. Now we should be because. I found it very boring. I didn't find it really fun at all. <laughs> but I didn't say like it was bad, it was just a game that just didn't hold my interest at all. And I gave it a fair shot. I I put like three hours into the game. Damn it. I can't stop thinking about what And I know there's people that are like I know. Well, you have to give it ten hours before it gets good. It's gotta be a trick. There's no That argument is fucking ridiculous. Asking for ten hours is a lot. But if a game or movie really or show, I say this for anything, is truly to good, time to stop it. like really we good, like you to. say, it will hook me from the start. Really? I don't need to Eric, sit through 10 hours of bullshit for it to be good. <laughs> huh? uh, guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming. I'll go first. Mm. Also, about Days Gone, someone was really mad that I stopped playing it and said it was bad. Again, just my opinion. I think Days Gone is bad. <laughs> I think it's very boring okay, with like PS2 shooting way. gameplay. And I gave it a fair shot. I put like three hours into it and I didn't find it fun at all. I thought it was mediocre at best. The fan base for that game is just so weird too. Almost there. They act like Days Gone is like an untouchable masterpiece, and I just don't get it. I feel like those are all people who haven't like played a fucking video game in their life either. Thanks, you saved me. Because it does like nothing new. It's just like a carbon copy of every zombie game. Come on. It's literally like copying The Walking Dead and like Bad Walking Dead, like Season Ten Walking Dead. Not when like Walking Dead was excellent. Yeah, I really don't get that fan base. I don't know what they see. But, hey, cool for them. They appreciate that game. Well, that's fine with me. I, it's just for me personally. I just really found it very, very, very boring. Focus. Still thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future to be honest, this game can be quite boring stone. too, but... When it's that good, it like it I really hits. Myself. Yeah. Like I really enjoy the shit out of it when it's really right. good. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector Seven, you're gonna. I'm gonna. Fuck Tifa. Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar. Decorations. Coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then what about me? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting cucked. I'm getting can carry all our stuff. cucked by Aerith. Be our pack <laughs> what was that about me? I don't like you, Aerith. I'm gonna throw you off a bridge. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you off a bridge. 
for taking Tifa. I like how like the things we're crossing look incredibly Sorry stable, but no, they just like be. shatter like glass. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, women. I'll be your cuff for today. I'll just stand in the corner and jerk off. By the way, I didn't say this earlier, but Soul was a really good Pixar movie. That was that was a really good movie. I really loved it. If Disney was smart, they would actually charge for it. Like 15, 20 bucks. I would actually pay for that movie. That movie was so damn good. I really enjoyed it. And the music, god damn, the music in that movie was great. Oh, I want this. I'm gonna put it on one of them. The music in that movie was so good. Just seeing that, the, I forget the main character's name, but seeing him rip it on the, you know, on the piano or on the trombone, it was badass. I want to make her her immune just because. She can keep her distance and just, you know, throw spells at us. That's why I want to make her immune. Disney has been so fucking stupid this throughout all of COVID. Like, man, they're, like they're having a fucking disastrous meltdown. And I gotta say, they should really be listening to the fans, because the fans have better planning than they do. Fucking canceling annual passes is a horrible move. I get that we're in COVID and, you know, theme parks and all that. I don't think they should go, but I don't think they should have canceled it. That was a horrible fucking move. I know someone that was really pissed off about that. Also, their refusal to like, release movies just because theaters are out. This really sucks because I really like theaters. But no one is going to fucking theaters right now. That, that's just the reality of it. No one is going to risk fucking COVID for the new mutants or tenants. Not a lot of people are going to do that. <laughs> at, at least in America. So just shut up and release it on Disney Plus for a fair price, not 30 bucks. That's outrageous. And apparently it got reported that they're releasing like another animated movie for like 30 bucks, which is a horrible fucking move. They obviously aren't learning. Because I'm pretty sure Mulan fucking bombed horribly. Keep it together. All set. <laughs> But what they have been releasing has been very good, like Soul, WandaVision, Mandalorian. They haven't been putting out good work, it's just like their their plan is just fucking stupid. It's like they have no plan. Like their plan is just to wait for theaters to miraculously come back, but it's not happening. Was never in doubt. It's it's like not happening for like I wanna say years now. Because of how bad. America botched COVID. It's not happening. And the one that's really irritating me is Black Widow. I, I honestly don't care about Black Widow anymore. It's been a year since it got delayed. It was supposed to come out last year. And it still hasn't come out. Yet they're, they're just really trying to push it in theaters. But 
Theaters are dead. Just fucking release it already. Nobody cares. It's just like, God, Disney, what the fuck are you doing? COVID might not exist to you wealthy people, but it exists to everybody in the fucking world right now. God, I hate when Aerith just runs straight into the battle. Like, I want her to keep her distance. Oh man, that just destroys these guys. That's the way to do it. I accidentally ran into that. Alright. Switch them guys because god damn oh, magic you destroys you these guys. One more shot. What is this? Uh oh. Yeah, I don't think I- What is Cloud okay. doing? He's just running in there. You'll see. That's a win. Yeah, that's my take on how shitty Disney has been throughout the entirety of COVID. All their plans really suck fuck. <laughs> and I think they should just give up and realize that theaters are not coming back. At least not in America. They aren't coming back in America. HBO was smart about just releasing all their movies on there. They're, they're fucking geniuses. I, I might actually want to buy HBO now just because of all the movies coming out on there. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself. It seems they realize that COVID is real. Go on! <laughs> Oh my god. I love that when they're getting their ass beat, they're just like, he's really focused on me. I think that's really funny. This one's for you! This is gonna hurt. This one will destroy him. And we're safe. Why is she hurt so bad? Here. How's this? Dun, dun. I'm guessing I was supposed to go that other way. Every area in this fucking sewer is looking exactly the same. Okay, I don't remember this at all. Oh, I missed something there. Look, that must be the way out. Na -na 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 there must be some way we can lower the water level. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole ass mission to get there. Or not, since it's apparently right behind this door. Guys, check it out. Seventh Heaven's water tank has something similar. I'm betting we can use this to control the sewage level. Hey Cloud, you wanna give it a try? This ought to drain the water. Right? I got this. Just one button, or one switch, I should say, or one lever, or whatever. No luck? Must be busted. A red light indicates a blockage, apparently. We can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. Alright. I'll... Aerith, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. 
Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. This will be back soon. God damn it, I gotta play fix the pump. So maybe this is a little different from the one at the bar. More... industrial? Okay, so I just have to hit the range. Here goes. What the fuck? Try to stay in sync. Oh, it worked. There you go. Spectacular. Okay. Let's see how this works. <sighs> I don't think that's gonna do it. Oh, fuck me! Like, ugh, come on. I have to hit it like immediately. We got this. There we go. That went well. Okay. Is this how like operators actually work? I don't know the exact term. I wanted to go faster since that one was a smaller one. Oh fuck, that one went super fast, Jesus. Keep calm. Right side, we get a bigger one. What the fuck? Could have gone better. Here goes. Come on, come on. There we go, we got it. Alright, I think that did it. Wonderful. Okay, Yay, girl power. Let's head back. Cloud's probably getting worried. Dun 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 dun. Alright, I pushed the lever. Yeah, and Cloud here did nothing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team! Oh, shit. And I'll get, get the fuck out of here. What? Where? Oh, shit. These ones are resistant to fire. Yeah. Oh shit. Keep it up. Should probably heal a cloud. He's about to die. Sexy Tifa. Those aren't gonna be the last enemies, though. I can tell you that right now. You asked for it. I told you. Don't overdo it. Okay, let's 
Ah, oh, I was stuck there. That's just bullshit. Trio got destroyed. Sure is nice to go up for a change. Hope the pillar's not much further. Oh, hello. Oh, there's three of them. No that fucking jump is brutal, dude. Oh, what the f My fucking turn. fuck? Deal with that. Okay, let's go. Give him your all. There. One more shot. God, that fucking jump is kill, dude. Yes, I realize everybody's almost dead, but they are almost dead too. Tifa has 2 HP, I gotta give her 2 then. Myself too, actually. Okay, we're good. Nah, I wanna give her another one. Hang back. I'll go on ahead and secure the exit. Oh my god, there's an army of reptilians. Looks like Conspiracy theorists the are right. There are reptilians. Not even a little bit. Get going. No. Okay. You too. But there's too many of them. Not for me. No, please stay. I'm gonna die. Unless this is a cutscene. Back off or die. Cloud, come on. Beat that army. We did it. Sewer survivor. That'd be a nice title I could put on my resume. I survived the sewer in Final Fantasy VII Remake. You guys think I should play other Final Fantasies? I know they're all like separate stories. Name some other ones I should play. Cause I really don't know what other ones are good except for this one. Understood. Oh no, it's fucking Vince Diesel again. We ought to proceed as planned. This is bullshit. What the hell are they thinking? Threats to public order are to be summarily put down. This is what we've always done. Summarily put down. <laughs> Guess it's a little late to grow a conscience. Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. Hmm. Google Metal. We could get lost in here. This is the train graveyard, all right. A real treasure trove of scrap. Sector 7 should be just past that large maintenance facility over there. I vote we stay in the light so we can see where we're going. Dark, dark everywhere. That doesn't look very far, but I can tell you now it's going to be a whole mission to get there. 
Go toward the light. That's what I tell every old person in a retirement home. It's deserted and kind of creepy. People don't come around here often. And not just because of the monsters, but because of the stories. What kind? Everyone seems to think that the train graveyard is haunted. Those who lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. <gasps> is that right? I mean, it's not like I think it's true or anything. But you know, it's just... Then let's hurry. Yes, let's hurry. We've already seen haunt the ghosts, we don't want to see them again. Excuse me, baby ruse. By the way, I finished the uh, the animated Harley Quinn show and it's awesome. I love that show so much. It is so good. If you have not seen that show, you are doing yourself a disservice because that show is amazing. Kinda in a rush, so. And I'll tell you guys a fun fact: the same actress who played Penny in the Big Bang Theory voiced Harley Quinn in that show. And after hearing her voice, Harley Quinn, I honestly think she should be Harley Quinn at some point. Like, after Margot Robbie's done, I think we should give the Harley Quinn role to her. She is so good in that role. And she seems to love the character so much. And people who love characters like that typically end up giving the best performances of those characters. Like, look at Ryan Reynolds' as Deadpool. He's a big fan of Deadpool. And he's a great Deadpool. He's a, the best you can be. Guys, what was that? And my personal favorite, Charlie Cox as Daredevil. He's a big Daredevil fan. He's a pretty damn awesome Daredevil. Oh, it's these. Oh, oh, don't scare me like that. Go on. But yeah, that Harley Quinn animated show was so damn good. I loved it. I can't wait for season three. I need a light. No holding back. That's it. It's on you. All set. I didn't realize there's another one here. On you. So it's my turn. Uh, one I more forgot shot. magic destroys these people. Are these creatures? I might have told you guys before, but I'm trying to collect like a lot of Batman, Spider-Man, and Daredevil stuff. Did you guys hear it too? I have almost all the Spider-Man movies, what? Batman movies, and I'm. Um, Doing like comic books and Funkos too, and like maybe a little bit of toys too. But I started like, cause I have H. My friend of mine gave me HBO Max for a little bit for like 30 days. You know who you are, by the way. Thank you. And I've been like watching like a lot of cartoons from my childhood, and Batman the animated series is so good. And Batman Beyond, and the just the two Justice League animated shows, Justice League Unlimited as well. Just so so good. And I started to dabble in DC's animated movies. Man, they are really good. There's some stinkers, but for the most part, they've been pretty good. Especially the Batman ones. I really enjoy the Batman ones. Just just imagine if the quality of DC's live action movies was on par with their animated stuff. Marvel would have some competition. Because right now, it's literally just Batman carrying all of DC right now. We could always run away, right? Yeah, just such good stuff. I wish they would compete with Marvel. It'd be so much fun. <laughs> I'll show you what I can do. But I also wish they promote more characters than just Batman. I love Batman to death, but we have other interesting characters like Superman, Wonder Woman, 
So I'm not a big fan of him, but Green Lantern can be cool as well. You know, the Batwing, the African Batman. Uh, Green Arrow can be cool. The Flash is pretty cool. There's just so many characters in that universe that would got way more attention other than just Batman all the time. And don't get me wrong, I love Batman, but... Some other characters need some attention, like like with Marvel, for example. I would have never imagined I like um, fucking Ant-Man or, or Scarlet Witch. You know, they're the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> you know, there's just so much potential with DC. They're just not delivering a bit. And I know they are with the animated ones, but people care more about live action. That's just the harsh truth of truth of it. And I love anime movies, but that's just the harsh truth. I watch a shit ton of them. But at the end of the day, people just care more about live action. And it is their fault we get like abominations like the last airbender live action movie. Which, by the way, I'm so, so, so not excited for Deal with that. All set. Netflix's I'll take Netflix. I can't talk about it. Their live action animated. Or their live action a avatar show. They're literally just copy and pasting everything in Avatar just to live action. It's literally just for shows for losers who just won't watch animated because they're too good for it. It's so dumb. Such a waste. If you really wanted something live action with Avatar, you should have just done a sequel to the show. Yeah, Cloud's getting boned over here. That's what I thought you guys should have done, but apparently not. You just want to rehash the same shit we've seen before. Watch yourself. I'll show you what I can do. And plus, now that the creators of the show aren't even working on it, I'm like really not interested at all. Like I really don't care what it is. If it's good, cool, but you're just not gonna capture the same thing as as you did in the cartoon. God, these fucking things are being big. They're just not gonna recapture it. It's just not possible. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? Oh my god, I can't fight these things. God damn! God damn! These things are kicking my ass! I can't fucking move! Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with these things? I could not move. Yeah, I'm like so not looking forward to it. I am gonna watch it, but. Probably. Not happily. Like, I hope it's good, but I know it's not going to be as good as the animated show. Like, they're really just wasting their time making that, because you're not going to recapture it. You're up! So it's my turn? Get him! What the fuck? I don't know how to dodge these fucking things. They just rip my asshole apart. Do they like thunder? Hope they do. Keep it together. All set. I'll take care of them. Get fired up. This one. Oh my god, they're just boning me so hard. Deal with that. Let me handle this. I've got you covered. You know, sorry, I haven't watched Legend of Korra yet, but I probably will get around to it soon. I also want to read like the comic books that are set after the show. I'll show you what I can do. 
Where's the phoenix down? Here it is. Okay, up and at him. Fuck me! God, my cap came off. These things are so fucking ridiculous. Here, have this! You fucking bitch. God, those things are ridiculous. Bone does really hard. Dun, 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 dun. We're almost here, too. I knew that'd be a whole ass mission to get here. To this. All right, let's see what's inside. After I open all these boxes. Well, what do you think? Awfully calm for this situation. But it'll be fine. We've got a bodyguard, don't forget. Mine. <sighs> right? Ghosts aren't my thing. <sighs> You're just being modest. After you. Mind letting me go then? Oh wow, we are actually walking like this. Oh, never mind. What was that? Look, well, I turned the camera so I couldn't see it. Oh shit, there's a kid. They all have to do with horror movies and kids, just run straight to them. Found you. Hey, can we talk? Just for a bit. <sighs> what the fuck? Get back. You're fighting ghosts now on this shit? <laughs> Keep it together. Well, All set. So a lot of things turn? seem to get destroyed by magic, so. This one's for you. Here, have some fire. This? Oh god. Oh shit, he can do that too? Not looking good. God, this we is not good. We're all very bad. All in bad shape right now. What the fuck? Out. I can heal the ghost too? Why did he come up as an option? That was weird. Alright, I want to heal up Cloud too. You know, give him the high potion. Okay. Oh my god. You've got this. Let's do this. Here, have some fire. 
Don't overdo it. Okay, let's go. Feel the heat. Finish him off. Ha. Go on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. One more make a Bring it. There we got it. There's another one here. That, this one's smiling though. Don't. That thing's dangerous. I know, but even so. <sighs> Never mind, it's not smiling. It's actually very depressed. What the? It looks like everyone in their 20s right now. <laughs> because the most exciting times in our lives are being ruined by a stupid fucking disease that people don't even understand. <gasps> Find another way through. Dun, dun. I fill you all up. I need to heal them all up. Bad me. Alright, well, that'll be it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm enjoying the hell out of this game so far. And we still got a little bit of ways to go. Oh. I'm with you. Let's well, go. I just entered a fight by accident, but let's get these motherfuckers. Oh, I have to be the creature that bitched and moaned about right now, of course. Calling fire. <laughs> Out of grenades. Here, have this. Get him. Keep it together. All set. These fucking bitches. I hate them so much. Watch yourself. I'm coming. Get him. No! Get off of me! Take it over. They're done for, you bitches. Okay. That is gonna do it for today. Sorry, I walked into that fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here. And... We'll see you next time. Bye for now.